Hello everyone, this is PC Death Gear, and welcome back to another episode of Go Go Nippon. 2015 edition, last we left off, well, we ended up having to eat, uh, some food, or we're about to eat some food that, uh, might not come out good. No, so let's see how it goes. <clears throat> oh, great, now I gotta muck out this voice, uh, <clears throat> Here we go. Itakamasu. It Itakamasu. Here you are. I worked hard on this salad, so help your so do help yourself. Sh sure. Ah, and you'll want to put on on my special dressing. Thanks. Uh, what exactly is in this salad? Yeah. See, long tortured strands of something protruding from the bowl. And distressing it. It's an unnatural day glow green. Oh no. Oh no. Please help yourself. <sighs> but it won't get eaten if I just stare at it all day. Eat that of suit. Here we go. Oh. How is it? D uh, uh, collapse. I'm sorry, I thought I had done a good job today. She thought that was a good job. Anyway, at least Akira didn't let her get involved with the curry at all. Oh my gosh. The curry was really del really was delicious. Ah I guess I now know to leave it. To always leave the cooking to Akira. I'll make sure to do that from now on. Anyway, at least it's over now. Hey, Onei-chan, do you remember what we talked about before dinner? Oh, yes I do. What What did you talk about before dinner? The fact that you only have three days left in Japan. We still have time to make the trip, won't we? That's true. I'll be going home in four days. Right, I was thinking maybe you'd like to go somewhere a little farther tomorrow. Somewhere farther? Yes. <clears throat> Wrong voice. Yes, obviously there's still a lot of places you haven't seen in Tokyo, but as long as you're in Japan, we thought you might like to see some place outside of Tokyo. Some place outside of Tokyo? Like where? <sighs> a place every traveler to Japan just has to visit. I did the wrong voice. God damn it! <laughs> yeah. There's only one place. Uh, are you talking about... Yes, Kyoto! Kyoto. Kyoto. I would like to go there, but... But... What? Do you have a problem with that? I don't have a problem, but... I don't know a lot about Kyoto. And even if you want to go tomorrow... I don't even know how we're... We're get there. Oh, is that all? If that's the case, then don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll go with you. Huh? Y you mean both of you? Of course. I know you haven't gone out with both of us, but we want to go on this trip too. Yes, I've been to Kyoto many times before, but this is a special opportunity. If you're going, I see. I wouldn't dare go alone, but having them there would be reassuring. Okay, in that case, let's take a trip. <clears throat> Hooray! Then it's settled! Yay! I know this is sun, but maybe we should make it an overnight stay in Kyoto. We'll take care of the reservations so you just get ready for the trip. Got it. Kyoto, huh? He. <laughs> this should be fun. He <laughs> he. Yeah. Oh, I hate doing female voices. Mmm. It's a really fun trip, but I did come all the way to Japan. Getting to see a lot of different places is one of the joys of traveling. Kyoto, I wonder what's waiting for me there. This should be fun. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm awake. I thought I'd be tired after wake walking around all day. We're all we're going out again tomorrow. Shit. <laughs> so I need to get sleep soon, but Mm. I can't sleep! Oh well. 
I'll go to the living room, get a drink, and relax. I bet I'll be able to sleep after that. First, the reference. Oh no. Uh. Ooh. Hmm? Is there someone in the living room? C could it be a burglar? We off something to Makoto and Akira. Okay, quietly, quietly open the door. Uh huh? Well, well I. What? Uh, I thought it was a burglar. Uh, Akira? Akira! Ah! Uh-oh, it's you. Don't pop out like that and scare me. Uh-oh, it's you, Akira. You're the one who scared me. Why'd you scream like that? Well, I couldn't sleep, so I was watching TV. Oh, you too? Looks like we're in the same boat. Uh, you can't sleep either? What? What's on TV? Well, oh, the commercial ended. Yeah. Huh? I've seen this before. It's a famous horror movie, isn't it? Y yeah. Do you like horror movies, Akira? I wouldn't say I love them. It just had to be on when I turned on the TV. Hmm. Uh, uh. Hmm. Eek! It's kind of funny watching her like this. What? Are you scared? I I'm not scared. <coughs> wow. I don't have to do a scream. Sh shut up. I didn't say anything. You seem so calm. I do? Well, I've seen it before. Should I tell you what happens? After this. Stab! Stab! No spoilers! Huh? You're not scared? I'm already this far in, so don't tell me what happens or it will ruin it. Is that how it works? That's how it works. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll go back to my room. Mm -hmm. I'm being pulled. Oh, Akira is holding on to my sleeve. What's wrong, Akira? You're curious too, right? About what? About what happens next? No, I told you. I've seen this movie before. You know if you've seen it, aren't you still curious? No, you must be curious. You're curious. I know it. Uh, so you're saying that you're scared and you want me to stay. I said nothing of the s <laughs> At least they do have that. <laughs> she, sh she tries to act so tough. But I do like that about her. Uh, Akira? Mm -mm. Hey, do you want to go to the bathroom? Huh? Come on, you want to go to the bathroom, right? No, I went just a little while ago. It doesn't matter, you went before and you want to go again, right? You must want to go. No, you do want to go. Uh, so you want to go to the bathroom, right? If you're going, I can go with you. I guess you know, you've seen this movie before, so you'll be scared to go alone, right? No, I'm not really. That's what you're feeling, right? You must be feeling that you are. I get it. I want to go. I'm going. Would you come with me, please? Uh, I, well, if I must, you should. Have just said so from the start. Look who's talking. You're right there, right? Don't worry, I'm here. I'll get mad if you go back without me. I said I know. And don't you dare listen. You better cover your ears. Got it. I said... Hmm? If you're there, say you're there. I've been calling out. All this time, nobody answered. I thought you left. You're the one who told me to cover my ears. Uh. <laughs> wow, I decided to even look at it. It's over. I ended up staying up. Staying with her until the movie finished. I see. So that's how it ends. It, it's very interesting, isn't it? Uh, well, I'm going to go to sleep. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, just a little while longer. Huh? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Yeah, good night. G good night. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the time. I need to sleep sooner or else spoil our plans for her tomorrow. Good night. Oh my gosh. 
Who or day four? Ugh. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> now then, are you two ready? Yeah. Wallets. Check. Change of clothes. Check. Okay, in that case, our one night, two day stay in Kyoto. Let's go! Now, as for our itinerary from Tokyo to Kyoto, we'll get on at the Shimikatsen from here at Tokyo Station. Shinkansen? What? What is it? Are you that far off about riding the sh Shinkansen? Of course I am. It's the Shinkansen. The Shinkansen. Not only is it the fastest train in the world, but you can't deny that it's the safest, most technologically advanced train out there. Wow. Is it really? Sure is. I mean, I've been hoping to ride the, the Shinkansen at least once. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm sure you are, but first we need to buy our tickets to get on. Sure, let's do that. First, there are so sh Shinkansen lines... When you get out of Tokyo, the one that goes to Kyoto is called the Tokaido Shinkansen. Tokaido Shinkansen, right? Yes, there are also three kinds of Tokaido Shinkansen. Those are the Nozomi, the Hikari, and the Kodama. That's right, the Kodama stops at every station, but the Hikari knows Nozomi only stops at the important ones. They're special express trains. With in every sense of the word. Between the two, Nukazumi takes shorter stops at each station than the Hikari. There are about 500 kilometers between Tokyo and Kyoto. The Nozomi makes the trip in about 2 hours and 20 minutes. 2 hours and 20 minutes? That's even faster than I thought. By the way, all the trains cost the same amount, so if you're going to a major station like Kyoto or Osaka, it's better to take the Nozomi. I see. Now, about the tickets. To ride the Shikazan, you need both both a boarding pass and a special express ticket. Then you'll choose between in the free scene or reserve scene. Hmm, hmm. A boarding pass and an express ticket. Then free scene or reserve scene. A one-way free scene... <coughs> free scene ticket to Kyoko is about 13,000 yen, but... A round trip ticket is a little cheaper each way. So it's best to go round trip for your boarding pass whenever possible. Round trip, got it, I'll remember that. Now, when you buy them in, Jap in Japanese JR stations, there are ticket counters called Midori no Madaguchi. Larger stations just use vending machines. Also, in some situations, you purchase tickets from travel agency counters. Oh, I too much. If you go to a travel agency, you can sometimes buy them in a bundle with hotel reservations at a discount price. You, oh wow, that's where I was. I, and that's right, when you're using a real pass, you can't use nose me so be careful. Okay. Wow. Oh, right. Oh, night chan. When we get to Kyoko, make sure our seats are. I got it on the right side, right? Yeah, you always know what I'm thinking, though, Nechan. Seats on the right side. Why? Because. Because. Nope, I'm not telling right now. You'll see soon enough. What? Now you got me curious. Tell me. No way. Yeah. Then Makoto. No way, Nechan. Don't tell him. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Ah. Now, first we'll buy the tickets, then grab our bento and board the train. We're buying bento before we get on the train? Of course. There used to be restaurant cars on the Shimkansen itself. But as travel time got faster and faster, train companies stopped doing it because there, were there was less of a need to eat a full meal on a train. So, as a sort of replacement, larger stations started selling special bento known as Ikaben that contained the region's specialty food. Eating an Ikebin while chatting with friends or wa and watching scenery pass by is part of the fun of a train ride. Yeah! 
In other words, it's a way to make the trip itself special. That's exactly it. It's not just a mode of transportation, but a part of the journey. This is getting really exciting. So... Ah! So we just bought our bento and got through the gate. Now we wait for the Shinkansen to arrive. Shinkansen, Shinkansen. Hehe. <laughs> you look like a excited little kid. But... Ah! It's here! Uh, oh, that's the Shinkansen. Yes, it's the newest model, the N700. It's a real thing. The form looks... This form looks like perfect steam line smart train. It's amazing. You can tell it's fast just by looking at it. Well, it's worth knowing that since the trains first start running, the trip time to Kyoto has been released by nearly one hour. An hour? That's even more amazing when you put it that way. I wonder how hard they must have worked to shrink the time by an hour. Come on, it's fine for you to get excited by space out and the train will leave without us. Hmm. 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 So, have you calmed down a little? Huh, you're insane. I've been calm the whole time. Please. You're insane. It's my line. You've been spazzing out since we got on a train. We've been on a train for 40 minutes now and you've been acting crazy the whole time. I am not. Don't say you're not spazzing. Come on, let them be. There's nothing wrong with them enjoying himself, right? Yeah, I mean, this is totally amazing. These seats are so comfortable, you can recline them so far. Even though we're racing by at 30 kilometers per hour, I don't, seem to I don't feel the slightest vibration. Each seat has its own power outlet, and you can even connect to the internet. I can't believe how advanced Japan is with stuff like this. See, you're totally spazzing out right now. Yeah. Now, now, enough with the flirting, you two. Uh, huh? We're not, we weren't flirting. Really? From my point of view, it looks exactly like flirting. That's why I'm telling you we're not. It's going to sound like, it's going to sound like you were given how much you are denying it. Come on, Ane chan you always, you're always quick to say such strange things. Sorry, sorry, uh, anyway, hmm. It's about time. Ah, uh, was it? It's about time for what? He <laughs> remember earlier when I asked for seats on the right side of the train? You're going to learn why very soon. Ah, uh, it's in sight, you two. Look. Ah. Uh. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. Ah, uh, that's Japan's greatest mountain, Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji? That snow crest peak, that gentle slope, so peaceful and slow, but with such a presence. How can I describe it? To just call it beautiful would feel cliche. It's 3,776 meters tall. The tallest active volcano in Japan. Huh? Active volcano? Mount Fuji is an active... Mount Fuji is an active... Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Yes, it is. It lasted up to 300 years ago until 15 years ago, scientists thought it might have gone dormant. But when they learned that it was still active internally, they reclassified it as an active volcano. That's an active volcano. They say the last time it erupted, the ash reached all the way to Tokyo. That's so far. When you look at the data, they see we see that Mount Fuji's eruptions don't have a routine cycle. The longest they remained dormant was a little under 300 years. And as Oni Chan said, the last eruption was 300 years ago. That means it could erupt at any time. Yes. Uh, there are various theories on why it's called Mount Fuji. One meaning to the word Fuji is unique, un while another is undying. Some theorize that the name stems from unique mountain or undying mountain. Undying mountain. Yes. That explanation would suggest that, as an active volcano, the ancients thought it as a living mountain. A living mountain? Say, can you climb to the top of Mount Fuji? Yes, you can, although... You only get halfway up by car, and past that you need to climb on foot. Generally speaking, lodging on the mountainside lodges on the mountainside only open in the summer around July and August. So if you want to climb, you need to go during that period. I see. Mount Fuji, Japan's greatest mountain. Someday I'd like to climb it for myself. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Thank you for riding with us today. Kyoto, Kyoto, please be sure to collect your belongings before you disembark. Mm, uh, uh. Ah, we're here. This is Japan's old capital, Kyoto. Kyoto. Kyoto was Japan's capital for over a thousand years until it was changed over to Tokyo in 1867. For over a thousand years, Kyoto became the capital in the year 794. Before that, Japan's government was centered in Nara Prefecture and the capital was shifted around when head of state changed. But in 794, they built a new city on this land. It was known as Healing Kyo, and its layout is based on the contemporary capital of China. That city remained as Japan's capital for more than 1,000 years. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, do make sure you hit that like button or leave a comment below. Your guys' question of the day. If you went to any... If you went to any part of Japan, what part would you want to go to? In my case, Tokyo and Kyoto are the main two that I would want to go to. But that's me. Um... I do have my reasons, one being anime, other being history, but if you guys do want to see any more of this series or my other series I got going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyway, this is PC Death Care, so I hope you enjoyed, keep playing on, see yous!